Afternoon. It's your moment of science for the day. You're looking at a stump. Uh, this is a tree uh, that I dropped a while back, about two months ago. Uh, it was a pin oak. It was dead. Uh, it was starting to rot on the outside. If you notice looking at here, definitely looks like something funky's going on here versus the inside. Um, this was actually starting uh, to rot. Uh, pin oak is not a great tree, uh, not a good wood. Um, it may be used for pallets, but that's about it. Um, it develops often something called ring shake. And what that means is if uh, the tree is infested with a fungus, and if you smell the wood, it often has uh, a very a poor smell if it's infected by that fungus. And what will happen in the growth rings, uh, the fungus will actually cause it to split. And it may be three months after you have a board made, it may be two years after a board is made, but it separates on those growth rings. So if you make a lovely dining room table, it actually could split, you know, at some point right along that grain. And that's a major bummer. This one was leaning uh, dead and leaning toward um, one of my barns. And so if you uh, pan around, you'll see, I decided to drop it uh, on that barn and uh, help it out, you know. Now this tree can say, you know, it took a little, but it also gave a little uh, in its lifetime. There's a tremendous amount of wood here. Uh, that stump is four feet in diameter. I just measured, it's 48 inches. It is, uh, that is a lot of wood, massive. Uh, this wood could heat my house for probably a winter or two um, if I cut it and split it um, as such. You can see the damage it caused on the trees uh, all around, the branches themselves fell, other trees uh, split, and uh, yeah, metal sheeting, roofing, not so good. You can see various uh, lichen growing on it in patches, uh, like right there. If you look at the, uh, the branches, you'll see almost that lavender uh, gray uh, lichen growing on it. Underneath it here, there's gonna be a lot of sunlight if my wife pans up to the sky. Whoa, <laughs> okay. It left a huge opening up there, so a whole lot is gonna grow down here now. And uh, as you know, if you count the rings, you can see how old the tree is. So measuring from the center uh, all the way out, uh, you know, how old do you think it is? You know, 48 inches. Man, it was really tall. I never have measured that. It's probably 75 feet. I'm gonna tell you how old it is. I've counted these rings twice now. Uh, I'll tell you how old it is in the very next video. Um, around it, we've got more of our friend, Winter Creeper, not happy. Notice whenever the branch uh, touches the ground, it starts to root. This stuff. What does uh, it mean, the different widths of rings? Um, so the growth of the various seasons, like we can see here, there's a big section. And so, you know, that right there is, you know, about a half an inch. On the other side, another half an inch possibly. So the tree increased in diameter one inch in one year. Actually going from uh, here out to about, I actually had a mark on it. From there to there is only about 25 years old. So that tree was uh, two and a half feet in diameter at just 25 years old. So that tells us there wasn't a lot of competition. Um, this had a lot of sun and it grew really fast uh, in a short period of time. Out here we can see uh, there was more competition. So it probably lost its lower branches, didn't have a large canopy or, or top, and uh, the rings got much, much uh, thinner and grew much, much slower. Typically, you like a nice slow growth tree for, uh, for making, for lumber, uh, for boards. Um, these big rings, not as nice. Um, and that's all I have to say for today, I'm told by the boss. We'll catch you guys later.